What's up, YouTube? It's uh, Mr. Red Bull here. How you guys doing? Seen you guys in a while. Um, been out of town for some uh, personal matters. Um, that's about it. Um, yeah, so I haven't uh, done a video in a while. There we go. Um, Uh, that's about it. So yeah, I'm back in town. I was out of C out in Kelowna for reasons I don't want to discuss. It was a medical reason. Um. So yeah. Um. I was uh, when me and my ex went our separate ways. Um. I kind of hit the bottle really hard in terms of liquor, um, so I was drinking practically every night after work, on weekends, um, I couldn't control it, um, I had to, I had to basically, you know, I went haywire, I just snapped, every day, drink, 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 every fucking day, excuse my language, every day, after work, everything, so Drink, drink, drink. I wouldn't get home till two, three in the morning. Um, I had a. Sorry, guys. I'm looking for something. Fuck's sakes, man. Um, my uh, my dad uh pulls me aside, and he he basically said, you know what, you gotta straighten up. You're you're about to you're losing your mind, you know. You drink every day, you know. I got kicked out of a bar in Vancouver, which was called the Camby. I got kicked out. Um, so yeah, it wasn't good. Um, I basically almost punched the, bar uh, the bartender out. Called the bartender, uh, sorry, bouncer, a goof. Um, do I regret it? Yeah. So I went up to Kelowna for three months, rehab, straightened me up, did a lot of thinking up there. Um, it was hard, you know. My dad called me once and he's like, you know, I do love you, I care about you, but you fucked up. You would have lost your job. You know, and, you know, you're lucky, you know. Um, on top of that, when I was in rehab, he tells me his new girlfriend's having twins. Him and her moving out of his house from New West to somewhere on Scott Road Station. So, I'm like, yeah, okay, good for you, whatever. I'm a big brother now, yay. Whatever. Um, there was a lot of intense counseling. They tried to figure me out, which <laughs> I was very resistant. Um, sorry about that. Uh, you know, I was very resistant on that. Um, I meant, you know, I, I gave up, that's it. So, you know, I walked in there and I was already pissed. I'm like, what the fuck am I here for? You guys gonna fucking help me or sit there and give me a bunch of bullshit? They're like, oh, you know, but, you know, what caused you, what caused this? And I, three days of resistance, like, I, I broke down. I get a phone call, my... Cousin, my dad's brother's cousin had a nervous breakdown. I don't hear from my dad for two weeks. So I was coming home one night about... 9 o'clock, 29 hours of military time. 
this guy was basically backhanded his girlfriend across the street. I ran over there, tried to break it up. The guy got pissed off at me, everything, started yelling at me, screaming at me, telling me to go fuck myself, crap like that. So he took a swing at me, hit me in the side of my neck, I threw him down. Started punching him in the face, because he's an asshole. Cops showed up. Um, I'm first aid certified, I'll show you the document later. So basically, yeah, I didn't get arrested or anything. Um, his girlfriend defended me, because he pissed her off. So he's, she's like, oh, like the blonde guy, you know, help me out and stuff, and da 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 and I missed her first aid. I got back to my hotel, like, I snapped. I'm like, I broke down, I'm like, why am I here? So, I'm back home now, <laughs> dealing with a lot of stuff, you know, I'm getting a new coffee table, a new area rug, I just got an entertainment center from the brick, I'll show it to you guys, um, spending money like crazy, I'm going back to school for motorcycle mechanics, I'm back in a body shop now, on call with them, working on cars, I still do my regular job, so I'm good, um, I will be starting a business shortly, I'm not going to get into what I'm doing. Um, I'll keep you posted on that. I'm trained in uh, handcuffs, which my company allows us offers the course. I took it, 500 bucks. Um, so yeah, a um, couple of my sites have gone a little wonky. Policy changes. A couple of us are are sticking up for ourselves and saying, yeah, this is bullshit and this. Um, but that's about it. We'll drop that topic. Um, I still party. I still drink on occasion. Um, one night I was coming home from the bar. I was really pissed drunk. Um, I didn't know this till I found out through my It's coming home. Corner of my eye, I see a VPD officer pull up. He's like, You so and so I'm like, Yeah. He's like, you, your dad wanted me to talk to you, so I was drunk. I'm like, oh, I'm not doing you know, being an idiot and he's like, Come with me. So I'm like, Okay. He's on his break. He takes me takes me to where I need to go. Takes me to the uh, the Hastings because he I don't know why around the corner one corner of Hastings parked me there. He's like, "You're a good guy. Your dad told me that you're a good guy. You have some things to work out. And you know I know what you've gone through. You know your dad's dad gives a shit about you and you're going down and you're going down and just." And you gotta quit. Or you're gonna end up in this car every day. Every night you'll end up in the tank. I don't wanna see you there. I, I looked at him and said, yeah, I know. <laughs> and he's like, you know what? You're a good guard. You know what you're doing. You work good. You gotta work some things out. But I, your dad's the one you wanna talk to. I I didn't tell him anything. He's like, I'll, you know what? I'll take you home. Then I went into rehab for that, so I'm back. I uh, apologize, um, and so that's about it. I respect my dad. I love my dad to pieces, but it drives me nuts when he starts shit like that. You know, but uh, yeah, when I was up there, I met this chick. Got stood up twice. Um, I remember the last thing my buddy told me. You fucked up. 
You're not the same as you were. My aunt pulled me in her office and said, What the fuck are you doing, man? You know this. What's wrong with you? I'm like, Nothing. She's like, No, that's bullshit. That's bull. She calls me Ollie. Don't ask my nickname. And she's like, That's bullshit. Why? We need you there. We need you to keep your head straight. I said, I'm trying. But I'm dealing with a hundred things right now. I got stood up twice. I got hung to dry once. Long story short, I met a chick in Chilliwack, and she, uh, I went up there, visited her, and yeah, I, I was, I had two cans of Red Bull the night before I had a fight, and I just lost it, and like, yeah, this is, you know, I said, buddy, just don't, you no, know, I'm sorry, okay, I'm not, you guys can judge me on this, but I, I have nothing against you know, gay people, okay, they're chill, but this guy just made me feel real uncomfortable, don't like it, so, you know, so, so she did what she did, and that's it. So, I'll see you guys around, I'm out, take care guys. I'm still alive, I ain't going anywhere for a while.